Okay, so we've talked about materials of construction. Um, we've talked about the, the purpose or the meaning or importance or unimportance of a hole being in the bottom of the drum. Um, we've talked about note spacing and sustain. And we've talked about tuning and note shapes. So now let's talk about the finish. Again, I'll begin with the hand pan. When you start with the hand pan drum, this hand pan drum is just regular low carbon steel and you can't really put a finish on them other than maybe you could do some bluing like they do on guns to help to keep them from rusting. So normally you have to get like an oil and you have to keep the drum lightly oiled to keep it from rusting. Uh, and, and, but don't forget to reach in through the goo hole if you can and put the oil on the inside of the drum as well because everybody forgets about the inside. This hand pan, this is the bottom of hand pan, and this has been nitrided. So the nitriding uh, darkens the steel a little bit, makes it a little bit harder, but also helps to slow down the rust. But it will still rust as well, so you need to keep it oiled as well. Um, Rav Fast drums are beautiful drums, and I love the sound. They're gorgeous. They're a bit big, they're a little bit heavy. Um, they're great for in your house, but if you've got to carry it around, they're, they're kind of big and heavy. Same thing with hand pans. They're, they're great drums, but they're not really all that portable. Especially if you're taking a hand pan and you want to fly someplace on a plane, you've got to check it as, as luggage. You can't, uh, you can't put it in on a carry-on. Where most of the steel tongue drums are smaller in diameter and you can throw it into your carry-on and take it with you wherever you're flying to. So, uh, this is a, the stainless steel without, the, without a finish on it. And it doesn't rust because it's, it's 304 stainless, and it's a high quality stainless. When we first started making drums, uh, we did like a lot of people did, we just used spray paint, uh, like a good automotive spray paint. But in our efforts to reduce our environmental footprint, we decided to get, or I decided to get rid of uh, spray paint. Because spray paints, uh, most spray paints have what's called a VOC in it, which is volatile organic compounds, and these contribute to greenhouse gases. And we just wanted to get rid, just get away from all of that kind of thing. Um, and so we've switched over to powder coat. So you see some drums, and they got like pictures of houses on it, or bats, or all kinds of different designs and pictures. And this is usually airbrushed on with the spray paint. And we can't do that with the powder coat. You can do it with spray paint, but remember, spray paint contributes to greenhouse gases. So, um, if that's a concern to you, then stay away from spray painted drums. If it's not a concern, they're beautiful. They look great. Um, and, uh, but we can't do it, or won't do it. Now, I'll go back to this one here. Now, I've seen other drums uh, on the market that have really beautiful designs all etched into the steel. And they're using a low carbon steel so they can etch into it. And the designs are great. The drums look fantastic. Uh, they're really cool with all the cool designs and stuff. But there's a couple things about etching. Um, if you're etching the steel, stainless steel is very difficult to etch. Low carbon steel is really easy. Uh, for etching, uh, and some people use the word uh, etching and engraving. They say engraving, but they mean etching. They create a wax mold with the pattern in it, and the pattern's cut out in the wax, and they put this wax mold over the drum, and the wax mold can be reused. They put it over the drum, and then they pour acid into it. Usually, like for low carbon steel, they might use like a nitric acid or possibly a strong hydrochloric acid, and then the acid eats away the steel in the shape of the patterns and the notes, and then they wash it all off. And the problem with this is, is it looks beautiful, but the thing is, is if you have thin steel, you've now made that thin steel even thinner, but also now you've got acid, waste acid that has dissolved metals in it. Now, in some countries, they don't have as many environmental regulations and people just, I don't know what they do with it. Uh, in America, uh, you would need to take it to a hazardous waste area and have it disposed of properly or cleaned. Uh, you can also maybe get an electric engraver and, and etch it, but uh, uh, engrave it in there. 
Um, but I'm not sure how long that would last, how long it would take. It would take days, to, I think, to, to engrave some of those patterns I've seen. So you said they're doing etching, which is, looks beautiful, but it's really, really bad for the environment. So we don't etch our drums either. What we do now, though, is, let me find a drum, is we've switched to an environmentally friendly um, powder coat paint. And one thing about the powder coat, it doesn't have any traces of lead in it. Some of the automotive spray paints, or some spray paints, depending on what country they come from, have lead in the paint. So you've got to be careful about that if you're concerned about lead. Um, powder coat does not, and powder coat does not have any VOCs. It's more neutral, it's more environmentally friendly. And we don't just put on, because some people like, like bicycles and things like this, they just put on one coat of powder coat and then they're done with it. And it's really easy to scratch. Um, but with our drums, we put on two coats. And we put on two coats to kind of bind together chemically. So we add one coat on, do some treating to it, and then we put another coat on. And then these two coats react with each other chemically to form a really good, strong bond. So what we end up with is two coats of paint instead of one that are bonded together to make a really hard, Scratch resistant, not scratch proof, but scratch resistant paint with a really high shine that lasts for a long, 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 long time. So it's a little more complicated, it's a little more expensive, but we're being a good friend of the earth by using the powder and also uh, because of the powders we've chosen and the combinations, we've come up with a good, hard, strong,